He's ready to work, he's ready to train, but that's no excuse for letting him jump all over me. Hey guys, Kat here from Standing Stone, and I have Hex with me for another training session. He is 16 weeks old, and we are going to start shaping the heel behavior. He doesn't know how to heel yet, but we have done a ton of training sessions with clicker training and positive reinforcement. Stop that, buddy. If he keeps jumping on me, I'm going to work through that so that he doesn't get conditioned to jump up on me. Uh -uh. He's ready to work, he's ready to train, but that's no excuse for letting him jump all over me. So we are going to start this training session like we do all of our positive reinforcement training sessions where he is going to get rewarded for a behavior, which is swinging into a heel, but we're not going to be introducing that cue yet because he doesn't know what heel means. Again, the click is going to mark that behavior as well as end the behavior. So once he's actually in that heel position and he hears that mark, if he comes, ah, 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 no, no. If he comes around and sits, stands in front of me or sits in front of me, that's completely fine to get his food reward. So I'm going to use his morning meal, Yukonuba Puppy Pro. Um, I've got my clicker in my right hand. I'm going to get a little couple kibbles in my left hand because I'm going to have him healing on the left. And I'm going to help lure him and pull him around, take a few steps forward so he's in that good heel position. Then when he's in that heel position, kind of shoulders even with my legs, back all the way parallel. He's going to hear that click and get rewarded for being in that position. So a couple more kibbles again, kind of lure him into that swing back, big swing position, take a few steps forward, then he gets that reward. And here's that click. So again, big, here's the treats, big swing. Good. So remember, anything your puppy's doing, they're conditioning themselves to. So if he isn't swinging around big enough into that heel position and he's just kind of cockeyed, that's not a heel position, and we don't want to mark for that. Otherwise, he's going to get conditioned that that's the position he needs to get into. So nice big swing lure. Using your momentum, too, and moving your feet just a little bit is good and completely fine. Um, He's still learning to move his feet, and if we can help him just a little bit, make him a little more successful by um, helping him with that little baby step, our little baby step, that's going to make this process that he's learning easier. And then once he gets better at it, we can start having higher expectations of he can move his feet completely with rear end awareness all the way into that position with minimal help from us. The next step of this process, once we've got a really good lure, is where we can remove the lure and he's used to following our hand. Ah, ah, no. Used to following our hand, and so we're actually just going to be using our hand to guide him, but we're still using the food at this point to lure him into that position. But once we've conditioned this and he's gotten a lot better at it and we're seeing this behavior uh, offered more frequently um, with little to no movement on our end, we know he's ready to start just following that target. Good boy. Good job. So we're just going to rep this. He's giving, giving me a really big swing. I'm going to try and face this way so you can actually see his body moving a little bit more. So he's doing, now we're facing a different direction. Things like this um, can just throw a little wrench in the works for him, and we're going to have to make sure that he is swinging completely. Uh, but he's doing that big swing and then getting into position there. Good job. So the reason that we like to shape this heel behavior is for a couple of reasons. When he gets older and he is doing uh, his formal retrieve training, we want him to do a nice big swing 
and present that bird or that bumper right here in a heel position, not parade around behind us, drop the bird, drop the bumper, do some naughty stuff, because what happens behind you can be naughty. So we want to keep him in front of us other than that swing. And that can be useful for just his recall side of things and his recall with retrieves, as well as when we're starting to work on actual healing on, and I actually just uh, didn't have anything to lure him. It was just that target swing. Um, he can actually utilize this beginning shaping behavior of getting in and staying in this position. This is a good place. This is where I'm getting rewarded as part of the introduction to actual healing, which is putting him on leash and having him walk next to us in a heel position. So we'll do a few more reps here, and then we're going to call that it for his session today. Good boy. And we will keep working on this during his meals for his training sessions at this point. So until next time, I'm Cat the Dog Trainer. This food-motivated little pup is Hex, and we will see you in his next video.